guys getting oh, tired. Good, That's fine. Right. Right. <laughs> Louder. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively. To objectively and subjectively. Evaluate each barbecue meat. Evaluate each barbecue meat. That is presented to my eyes. That is presented to my eyes. My nose. My nose. My hands. My hands. And my palate. And my palate. I accept my duty to be a. I accept my duty to be a. Fourth annual Hogan at Lanier judge. Fourth annual Hogan and Judge. So the truth. So the truth. Justice. Justice. Excellence in barbecue. Excellence in barbecue. And the American way of life. And the American way of life. May be strengthened and preserved for. May be strengthened and preserved forever. That's Your stuff looks pretty. My lattice? Yeah, it looks real pretty this way. I didn't know that. Dale did. Yeah, it looks real pretty. You don't like what? Nothing. That one piece of green lip sticking out. Take a toothpick and poke it Christopher, down. just pass me a um, knife blade or something. Keep going, Scott. Like, We're not found the fast. Don't stop. <laughs> Hey, mister, get your meat the box. <laughs> Okay, overall, we're judging chicken here, and uh, overall, uh, very tasty chicken. It's uh, tough decisions here. My first one, uh, my skin was a little bit tough, it had a good flavor to it, a little bit of, little bit of heat. Uh, my second one and my fourth one are actually two of my uh, favorites. Uh, they're very tender, moist. Uh, number three, that one was uh, tender, but it was a little bit dry to me. And on the last one, the leg, that was that was tender, uh, juicy. The flavor was just a little bit off on mine, uh, for my taste anyhow. But overall, very good uh, sampling. Um, overall, this was a really good um, chicken. I thought the first one was a little tough. The second one was very tender, a little on the peppery side, but but still delicious. The, um, the third one was a little bit dry, um, had, a, had a good uh, rub and flavor. Um, the fourth one was um, just a little bit dry for me also, and the leg was tender, but um, I just thought that it tasted a little, little off to me too. Well, I'm in agreement with them on the things, except my favorites were the second one and the leg. I happen to like that flavor profile that she put on the leg, or he put on the leg. It's uh, got a nice little peppery aftertaste to it, and I know that's not for everybody, but to me it was an excellent leg. And uh, the thighs, overall, these were some of the best chicken I've had in a long time. They tasted like barbecue. A lot of times they don't taste like barbecue anymore. Yeah, I have to agree as well. It definitely had a nice barbecue flavor to it. Um, as everyone else said as well, number one was definitely rubbery. Didn't have a lot of flavor to it. To me, the best one was number three. Mine wasn't dry. No, the other co the other judges said it was dry. Mine was very moist. Had a lot of good flavoring to it. it actually had a nice little bit of a heat to it as well. Overall, I thought it was real good. The first one... Uh, was just too hot and a little too tough. The rest of it I thought was very comparable. None of them just really jumped out at me, but they were all very good. And I liked the, the last one also, the drumstick. I thought it had a good flavor to it. Hey, you mess it up. Here, just hear what you can do is you can stick the spatula and push the bottom one down. Wash your hands, leave me staring down. Number two was so-so. Number three had a good flavor, but I thought it was a little bit tough. Uh, number four had a tough time biting through it. Number five wasn't too bad. And of course, number six had a fairly decent flavor. So I ate it all. <laughs>
<laughs> One was good, two was my favorite. It was good texture, good taste. Three was kind of iffy. Four looked delicious, even though a little saucy, but just didn't have the overall effect. Five was fair, six was very good. A little overdone, but just delicious. I just want to grab the whole thing and put it in my mouth. So number one was one of my, my second favorite of them all. Number two, I thought was okay, a little bit overdone. Number three, I had a problem with, uh, felt like it was dry and the sauce I did not like. Uh, number four, I had a problem getting a bite out of it. It was, it was tough, it was tough. Five was good and six was probably, probably my favorite except it was overdone but he kept it moist somehow. All around these ribs were uh, pretty good, all entries um, as far as the flavor goes. Number one, one, two, and three were all pretty pretty good on their um, their tenderness. Uh, number four and five were, were tough, uh, hard to bite through. Um, looks like they needed a little more time on the smoker. And my number six was the flavor was really good and the texture and tenderness was really good. So uh, I would say number one and number three were my favorite. I thought one, two, and three were really good. Um, four, five, and six, there was either a problem with the taste or the tenderness in them. Uh, number one was had a pretty good flavor, but uh, it was a little dry and stringy on the texture, so I had to uh, take off a point for that. Um, the, the next entry is two, three, four, and five. I found a, a little bland. Uh, uh, they were all a bit tough, like they, I mean, just uh, hard to get a good bite on. Uh, number six was clearly my favorite taste, but it was, I think, a little overdone um, uh, on the texture. Probably good. These, just a touch on the sauce. We'll, we'll, we'll get it when we get it in there. I mean, you got. I don't have seven. Fifty-seven. I don't have seven. Does that seven. matter? He See, doesn't. I, look, I don't think it matters as long as I only have six. We got it. It's going to be pretty fair. Taste of number one, and to, to me, it had a little bit of a mush to it. it wasn't it wasn't quite cooked the way I wanted to. It was just a little bit on the mushy side. And number two went to this one. Now my plate had a great big hunk of fat in it, which was not. Wasn't cooked all that bad, but the fat really kind of took away from what I was wanting to judge. Number three had a wasn't crazy about the presentation. They took the tubes and laid it out kind of like they were trying to do a brisket, and it was on the paler side. But as far as a, eating it as an entry, it turned out to be pretty good. And it was cooked, had a nice doneness to it and a nice tenderness to it. Uh, number four had a nice soft glaze to it. A little bit tough on the cheese, but overall the flavor wasn't too bad. And uh, they were on the part of the last one, number five. I thought it was cooked pretty good and uh, just hit on the marks on, as far as me on the flavor's taste and tenderness. Number one was a little little dry on the cool pork pie side, but the, the money muscle was actually really moist. Number two, I thought they had um, really good bark and really good flavor to them. It was really tender. Number three had very good cool pork bark portions. The mini muscle was right on, it was spot on, it was probably one of my favorite Number four was way mushy. You can see how you indention on that, I put on that for the, for the mini muscle. But the bark was very tasty. So the outside was good, and it was overcooked, obviously. Um, and the final one was, it was a little tough. But it had good flavor and good good quality. Otherwise, it's a good it's a good section of pork. Numbers three and number five were my two favorites. Um, three it didn't present very well. It presented good, but uh, it all came together as far as the tenderness and taste uh, for me. It was spot on as far as texture and taste. Uh, five was also pretty good. A little dry, but overall very good. My least favorite was number one. Um, 
The taste was good. One more, but it just completely disintegrated as much as soon as you picked up a money muscle, you could just squeeze it and it disintegrated. It was very mushy. How about number one, um, my serving was it was pretty good. One and two. We had a, a good flavor to it. It wasn't, a, it wasn't the prettiest one in the month, but it had a good flavor. Number four was dry. It was overcooked. It was just way overcooked. And number five was good. It was, it was a good choice to make. Thank you all very much. That feel good. I should put them in. I need something up here on this back. That's all right. But burn it. Sorry, I'm falling asleep. Need the sauce. Yeah, right there. Right here. Where's the... It's just not. You want me to go? Go. This is. Uh, I don't really have a favorite. They're all about the same. They're either too done or they taste like roast beef. They're just plain. Didn't have a favorite, but they're all about the same. Okay. Uh, I guess number one was my favorite. It was a little bit too salty. Uh, number three was very bland and had no smoke. The rest of them are just about average. Number one is my favorite. It has a great uh, flavor aftertaste. It's just a pure brisket taste. They did a good job in cooking it. Number three was my favorite. I agree with my fellow judge. I thought most of them tasted like first. Um, my favorite one was number one. The red stone is about the same. Number three. Oh, on my plate, number one was the red stone. Number three was, unfortunately, from the Diane. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, flavor. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, number one is a fine job. Congratulations to that team.